take the scepter, Jeff, and begin the vows. Take the scepter, Jeff. is dead with one stupid blow you've ended it all those under our control are released that pleases you doesn't it i warned you nicholas that i wanted to remain as me now yes and because of what you've done you've also succeeded in destroying yourself what are you talking about you never have to change into your leviathan form again jeb because it no longer exists and what is there left me! No, Jeb! There is nothing anymore! All that remains is a shell! A manifestation! This body you inhabit is not yours! It was able to exist only in the beginning through sheer force of mind! When the shrine exploded, this body should have died with it! But it didn't die! And I'm left! And I can see and hear! and feet, yes, but only through sheer force of mind. And how long can your willpower hold out, Jeb? Not very long, I promise you. Your time is running out. hear you, Elizabeth. She's been put into a trance. A trance? We must get her upstairs at once. Well, how did this happen to her? Who's responsible? I'll explain everything after we get her upstairs. I think if the time has come for you, Elizabeth, to know the truth about a great many things. dead have turned into skeletons. Nicholas, you've got to come back to the cottage with me. There's been a fire. In the back room. Yes, how did you know? Everything is over for us. Bruno Jeb has destroyed it all. What are you talking about, Nicholas? Come. I'll tell you all about it on the way back to the carriage house. 
sleep now. When she comes out of the trance, we'll be soon. Good. Barbara, I want you to explain all this to me. Well, I don't know how you... How... When... Where to begin? Begin what? Elizabeth, we have been committed to a cause that is most false and destructive. We've all been in danger, including you, Carol. None of us haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. What cause? Tell me. You know very well what cause I'm talking about. The Leviathans. You, David, Amy. You're not making any sense. You're really sure you don't know what I'm talking about? I'm positive. Good to be true. It's what Jeb did has caused everyone to be released from the spell. What are you saying about Jeb? You know Jeb, don't you? Well, of course. How much do you know about Jeb? Not very much. He seems like a nice young man and he's quite fond of Carolyn. Barnabas, will you tell me what this is all about? I'll explain everything later. The one thing you have to know now is that Carolyn is safe. I'll explain everything else. Coming out of it. the last thing you remember, Carolyn? I... I was alone. In the carriage house. Who are you doing that alone? Well, I was waiting for Jeb. He had gone out for something and asked me to wait for him until he came back. And he never came back? No. Somebody else came there. Yes. Nicholas Blair. Nicholas? Is he responsible? Yes. Responsible for what? The reason you don't remember anything after he talked with you is because he hypnotized you. Hypnotized me? Why? I'm afraid I can't answer that right now. I, I don't have the answer myself. I have more investigating to do. Elizabeth, I'll be back and talk to you later. Mother, I, I, I'm going to call the carriage house. Why? I've got to find out what happened to Jim. Something may have gone wrong. He never should have left you there alone. Mother, he couldn't expect that Nicholas Blair would appear. I'm not sure of anything anymore. I thought Nicholas was a perfectly sane and healthy man. Obviously, he's not. Who is it? Jeff Hawks. Jeff! You stay right where you are. I want to see Karen. May I ask who gave you permission to roam around this house at will and who let you in? I let myself in. Well, let yourself out. Mother! I'm sorry, Carolyn, but I think his behavior is shocking. You have changed. Just as he said you would. What are you talking about? You remember who I am, but you don't remember anything else. You're not making any more sense than Barnabas. Yeah, look, Mrs. Stoddard, I've got to see Carolyn. It's very important. 
It'll just take a few minutes. Please, Mother. Please let him come in. I don't want to...